In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the test pyramid. Now, your software can be tested at different levels or different test levels. And this test pyramid is used to illustrate different test levels at which the software can be tested. And in the ISTQB foundation level syllabus, you would have already uh, understood the different test levels. Uh, which are unit integration system and acceptance testing so these are the different test level and the test pyramid is used to illustrate these test level at which you can do software testing and what this test pyramid says is that you should be um, testing from the base of the pyramid to the top and it is based on the principle of early testing so let's see what exactly the test pyramid talks about so if you see here in this diagram you have the pyramid you have a um, sort of pyramid and then you have a unit testing level then integration system and acceptance and as you move further or move at the top of the pyramid you will see the amount of test cases should be less so the majority of your testing should be done in the unit and integration phases rather than um, pushing it further to the system and acceptance testing phases so that's the principle uh, which early testing says that you should be doing majority of your testing early in the software development life cycle rather than pushing it further to the later phases so test pyramid represents having more testing at the lower levels which is unit and integration levels and lower levels are often automated using the api based tool so uh, the web service uh, automation or web service testing is required uh, when you are do when you are following the test pyramid or early testing principle so you should be doing a lot of web services based testing in the lower um, phases or lower part of the pyramid so unit testing and integration should be done through the api based tools uh, and uh, high level or automated using the GUI based tool. So once you come to the system and acceptance testing phase, you'll, there will be a graphical user interface. So you should be using any of the automated tool like Selenium or any of the GUI based tool to automate those scenarios and test the application. Now, this test pyramid is only applicable for the dynamic testing. So once you are uh, once you are in the dynamic testing phase, you should be doing um, you should be relying on the test pyramid principle or early testing principle. Then um, defects found at later stages are more costly to fix. So you uh, that's the uh, known fact that in the testing life cycle, once the defect is found um, in the latter phases, for example, acceptance, it will be more costly to fix rather than the defect that is found in the unit testing and that's the whole purpose of having this test pyramid and showing that your majority of your testing should be in the unit testing then integration then system and then acceptance so acceptance testing should be the minimal amount of test testing uh, which should uh, just um, ensure to the end user or the customer that the function or the functionality delivered in the software fulfills the acceptance criteria that the customer or uh, defined by the stakeholder so that's all all about the test pyramid thank you